So, as you may or may not know, every time I go someplace new, I get a new sticker for my car top carrier. So we were just at Abraham Lincoln Birthplace National Historic Park. And so, come this way, young lady. We are going to add the new sticker. Fit right there. Boom. Perfect. Ta da! There you go. You'll join Mount Washington in New Hampshire, Cabot Trail in Nova Scotia, and Cushpaquack National Park in New Brunswick. Done. Look at that. Like a mail slide. Hey, good day everybody. So today we are visiting the Abraham Lincoln uh, Birthplace National Historic Site. That's a long one, I had to look at that one. Um, so, obviously, yeah, you, may, you may not know, but he was a president of the United States. Uh, probably one of the most famous ones. So, I don't know too much about him. I don't think Akane really knows anything because they learn even less about American history in Japan than we do in Canada. We still learn a little bit, but we're going to check out where he was born, kind of learn about his life, and check out some of the hiking trails in the area. So, hope you guys will learn something in this video, and I will try and share what I learned with you. So, we just finished a 15-minute movie about the early life of Abraham Lincoln, and I did learn quite a few things. Uh, so obviously he was born here. Uh, I also learned that he was kind of the middle class or upper middle class. His dad did fairly well here. He's in the top 20% of earners in the area. Uh, didn't know that he was the 16th president, but he is. And uh, his grandfather, he's named after his grandfather who was killed by uh, local Indians in the area when they moved in. So his grandfather was a pioneer so he, they came from other parts in the east and they were moving west one of the first people in the area his father was a frontier man so him along with a whole other group kind of settled this area and then yeah so he was born here moved to other areas of kentucky uh, unfortunately we're not going to be going there on this trip but um but yeah he seemed to have a pretty simple life he lived on a farm uh, did a lot of farming when he was young, and uh, kind of sounds like me. I did a lot of farming. We had a small little hobby farm with animals, uh, turkeys, pheasants, rabbits, and then of course a little garden. I remember helping dad. Uh, my job was to drive the tractor to till the garden <laughs> while he operated. It's one of the old school uh, plows that you would typically pull behind a horse. So I was the one operating steering the tractor while he did that until he got a rotor tiller when I was a little bit older. What's so funny about that? <laughs> you think I grew up in the 1800s too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so this site has a number of hiking trails. So we picked the one that was right off the visitor center. I believe it's taking us to like the memorial site where the log cabin is where he was born. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. We're just kind of following the path and seeing where it's gonna take us, I guess. Oh, I can see that. Oh, you can see the memorial? Mm -hmm. Excellent, so it turns out I was right.
that he was born in. So they have preserved it, put it inside, and it uh, looks in really good shape. I'm sure it was probably falling down at one point. We just finished up inside the actual memorial. So now we're gonna do a couple of the trails. So what's the first trail we're doing? The um, Boundary the Oak. Oak. So the Boundary Oak Trail takes uh, right from the back end of the monument. There's a trail, you'll see it. We're gonna take that loop around. It's gonna drop us down to whatever the Boundary Oak is. I'm guessing it perhaps a big tree. Don't know. And it's also gonna take us to the Sinking Spring. So one reason why Abraham Lincoln's father chose this site is because of an endless supply of water from a spring. And it went down into underground uh, which we'll show you here in a little bit once we get there. Um, so anyway, yeah, this trail is going to take us to show those two, uh, two sites. Mm -hmm. Now, it is supposed to rain today. It, I, know I, I know I said in the last video that it was supposed to rain that day and it never did. So, super happy about that. Um, but today, it is supposed to rain and it's supposed to rain this afternoon. It is also supposed to rain overnight. We're supposed to get like 20 millimeters. So not 100% sure how well our tent's gonna fare out. Hopefully it's gonna be fine. I mean, I've, I've slept in tents in the rain. It's not supposed to like downpour super hard all at once. It's just supposed to be like a steady, like one millimeter every hour over the course of like 10 hours overnight or something like that. So uh, it is gonna rain. We do have the umbrella. Hopefully that will negate the rain this afternoon usually if you bring the umbrella it's not going to rain but if you don't bring the umbrella it will rain <laughs> kind of hoping that's going to be the case this time well did we make it to the sinking spring mm -hmm. yes we did all right let's go the temperature's cooler Ah, yeah, there's not much difference between here and there, so for we're in the shade, it's making a nice difference. So this is located right next to the stairs going up to the monument, by the way. So we have finished off here at the main section of the visitor set where the visitor center is and where the house is uh, just up the road. So when you come out of the visitor center, we're going to turn a left and then there's another little drive where it's called Big Sink Trail. Yes. So we're going to go do that hiking trail, ex exercise our legs a little bit, burn off any extra things that we have before we go to the distillery this afternoon. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good and bad. <laughs> Our last distillery of the tour, but you know, maybe four distilleries. Is, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> is enough for most people. We have now arrived at the two seconds it took to get here. It was the next turn as soon as you get out. Um, so now we're going to be doing the hiking trail. Kane looked at the map. Believes it's going to take probably an hour or an hour and a half in order to do the biggest possible loop so we're gonna see how our day goes and because uh, we got some time to kill it's I don't know what time it is now probably 11 mm -hmm. yeah it's 11.06 actually and our tour is not until 4 so we have lots of time to be able to relax and walk and hike and enjoy some of this Kentucky nature I did bring the umbrella again I don't want to risk you know having that rain on us I hope not. Hey. And see? See? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I say we do all of them. Okay. So if you were not aware, Akane is extremely lucky weather-wise. <laughs> so if you need good weather on your trip, I suggest bringing Akane. <laughs> and if you're bringing Akane, I suggest bringing me. Free trips for us all. <laughs> no? 
you have to go with you. Do you think? Of course, I have to go with you. Why not? But you might make slain day. Oh yeah, I'm not. See, I'm, I'm the opposite of Kane. I'm, I make weather bad, so we kind of balance each other out. Kane was here, there wouldn't even be a chance of rain. There'll be zero percent chance of rain the whole trip. Mm -hmm. But since I'm here, today there's like a 90% chance starting at like <laughs> four. <laughs> but the reason it even hasn't even started yet is because of Kane's here. So oh. she's shifting that balance in the universe. To, yeah. <laughs> All right, does anybody know what these things are? I thought they were flies at first, but I don't think they're flies. But but they do they do fly it's very interesting all right so one thing that you have to do when you're done hiking trails like this is check for wood ticks I have had two so far this year. One has been on this trip already mm -hmm. and the other one was in one of the videos in Nova Scotia mm -hmm. and I will put a link to that up top as soon as I figure out which video that is because I'm not 100% sure which one it was. But uh, yeah, I found them both uh, walking on my ankles so therefore I can conclude I have very nice ankles. <laughs> what do you think? Okay ankles. Okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> There are quite a few of these large white oak trees here. There are also quite a few bugs. Now, I, I'm sure you find that hard to believe that there's bugs in the woods, but there are, and there are a lot of little black flies. Are they bugging you? Yeah, it's funny. Uh, they don't bug. Bugging me. They're, apparently, they want to taste oh, the yes. inside of my eye, because that's where they keep going. But a nice little hike, anyway. As you say, as we're climbing a small hill. But overall, yes, pretty flat. And the, as you can see, the it's like crushed rock for a trail. So it's it's still pretty soft on your feet, but it's uh, there's no tree roots or anything like that. So mm -hmm. that makes it nice. We just heard some thunder. So maybe the, I don't know, maybe the storm is on its way, but mm -hmm. it is still so nice and sunny. Like... I was 100%, well, I checked the weather this morning before we left, and it said it was going to be cloudy, and then it was going to rain, and ever since we got here, it's been sunny and nice, so there is a chance that it's going to rain. I guess that thunder may indicate that, but like last night, we had kind of like just like a light, little lightning storm. Mm -hmm. It's just been so hot and, and humid, because the last few days it's been... 28 or 29 celsius and felt like 35 36. or 36 celsius so it's been quite humid um, and quite hot so i mean i know the electrical storms they happen when it's that and that will help break up the humidity a little bit but we are supposed to be getting some rain so tonight? yeah like i said it's supposed to rain all night but it was supposed to rain this afternoon too yeah so we'll see but you know what? I think it was only supposed to start raining around noon. Mm -hmm. And it's probably now getting close to noon, I would imagine. So I guess we'll find out here in a little bit whether or not the... I'm kind of hoping they're wrong on the forecast and it doesn't really rain this afternoon. Well, guys, it did end up raining. And actually, I, because of that, it completely threw me off. I didn't finish the vlog properly. So I thought I'd take a chance to put on the same t-shirt and pretend as though nothing different happened. But in reality, it's like six months later. Actually, that's not true. It's like two months later. Anyway, we did have some rain and it did kind of mess up our time at Heaven Hill. But you guys will see that in the next video. All right, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you learned uh, even just a little bit. It was neat learning about Abraham Lincoln and where he grew up. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and hit the thumbs down. Uh, if you are new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you. And uh, if you like this content, I hope you'll subscribe and follow along on more journeys. All right, everyone. Hope to see you next time. Bye.